This tutorial is all about isotopes, which are different forms of the same element uh, as shown here with carbon. And also it's about some conventional ways of writing the symbols with some additional information which tells us a little bit about the makeup of each of those atoms. You need to be able to learn a definition of isotopes. They're varieties of an element that have the same atomic number but different mass numbers. There are a few classic examples of isotopes that you can pick out of the periodic table. Uh, the main one that is in most textbooks is about chlorine because some atoms of chlorine have a mass number of 35 whereas other atoms of chlorine have a mass number of 37. Well, how can that be? Well, they're all chlorine atoms and all chlorine atoms have got a proton number of 17. So it can't be that which differs and because chlorine atoms are all neutral, it can't be the number of electrons that differs because that's going to be 17 as well. So it must be something to do with the number of neutrons. Some atoms of chlorine have got 18 neutrons, so 17 protons plus 18 neutrons makes a mass of 35, whereas other chlorine atoms have got 20 neutrons, so 17 protons and 20 neutrons make a mass of 37. Now they are all chlorine atoms because they've all got the same number of protons, they've all got the same atomic number. But that explains this curious relative atomic mass number for chlorine which comes out not as a whole number, like for most elements in the periodic table, but as a kind of fraction or decimal. And the reason for that is that this number is the average mass of all the atoms in chlorine and takes into account that some of them weigh 35 and some weigh 37. When we look more closely at the atoms of chlorine, we see that in a sample of chlorine, 25% of them have got a mass of 37, whereas 75% of them have got a mass of 35. So the ratio of those weighing 35 to those weighing 37 is a ratio of 3 to 1. So let's take the smallest total and that will give us 4 atoms of chlorine. And let's work out what 4 atoms of chlorine would weigh. Well, 3 of them would weigh 35 and 1 of them would weigh 37, making a total mass of those 4 atoms of 142. So on average, each of those atoms weighs a quarter of 142, which is 35.5 units. And this is how we work out the relative atomic mass for chlorine. And that's the number which is found in that periodic table. So you may be given information in an exam paper, like a table of data, and asked to work out the number of protons, electrons, or neutrons in a particular particle, be it an atom or even a charged particle, like an ion for higher level. And you may be asked to give the conventional symbolism in one or other form for a particular atom uh, or ion, for example, in the form of this carbon 14 or carbon 12 or carbon 13 um, where the number after it is the mass of that particular atom or isotope or in this second format where we've got the symbol but with two numbers associated with it the lower one being the proton number and the upper one being the mass number for that particular isotope. You might get an exam question where you're given a table, probably not as incomplete as this one, and be asked to fill in various uh, bits of information, bits of data. Let's have a look at this one. Aluminium, with its atomic number of 13 and mass number of 27, well, how many protons, neutrons and electrons does it have? Well, aluminium has got an atomic number of 13, that's the number of protons, so that's 13, and of course, because it's a neutral atom, that means the number of electrons must be the same. Now, the number of protons and neutrons add up to 27. So, the number of neutrons is the difference between 27 and 13, which is 14. For potassium, the atomic number is 19, so that's also the number of protons and, of course, the number of electrons. The mass number is 39, so 19 plus something makes 39. The number of neutrons would be 20. We'll just do the atoms first before we start on the ions. Chlorine 
has an atomic number of 17, so it's got 17 protons and of course 17 electrons. And this particular isotope has got 37 as the mass number, that's the number of protons plus neutrons, so the number of neutrons must be 20. Now, at higher level, you may be also given an iron. Now, ions have either lost or gained electrons, and you can tell how many they've lost or gained by their charge. If there's a 1 minus charge, it means it's gained one negative electron. If they've got a 1 plus charge, it means that they've lost one negative electron. So when we look at the potassium ion, just like the potassium atom, it will have 19 protons and 20 neutrons. But because it's lost an electron, it's gone down to 18 electrons. The chloride ion, like the chlorine atom, will have 17 protons and 20 neutrons in its nucleus. But having gained an electron, it's now gone up from 17 to 18 electrons. Sometimes you're asked to identify isotopes from a table. Now here's kind of four made up names, alpha, betium, gamium, deltium. Uh, they're not really names of elements, but uh, we're given information about their atomic numbers and their mass numbers. Now, to be isotopes, the uh, atoms have to be of the same element. So they must have the same atomic number. And in this case, there are only two of them with the same atomic number. We've got alphium and we've got deltium, both with the same atomic number, so they're the same element. But look, they've got different mass numbers. And that's because they've got different numbers of neutrons. So these two, alphium and deltium, are actually different forms of the same element. They are isotopes of each other. Isotopes, remember, are atoms of the same element, but with different mass numbers. And here's finally an exam question. Look at the table. It shows some information about two isotopes of chlorine. Well, we can tell that they're isotopes of the same element because they've got the same atomic number. Both got an atomic number of 17, so they've got 17 protons. But look, they've got different mass numbers because of the different numbers of neutrons. So what's an isotope? Use the information from the table to help you. Well, it's easier to answer the question, what are isotopes? So I'm going to answer that. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with different mass numbers. And as you can see, there are two main ways that you can answer this. Both of them say that they've got the same atomic number or they're the same element, um, but that they have different mass numbers or different numbers of neutrons.